Hey guys, so the last thing I thought I would show you guys how to do with this grenade tutorial is how to make these little um, like points that trace out the grenade arc, as you can see here. Um, so if you've watched the first two videos, there's not much more that we're going to add in this one. Um, but if you haven't watched the first two, I suggest you guys go back, watch the first two videos, and then you'll be able to follow along easier for this third one. I'll put the link to both of those in the description. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is right click here in the content browser and we're going to go to blueprint class and we're going to create a new actor. And we're going to call this tracer points. And we're going to open this up and we're going to add a component. We're going to make a sphere and we'll just call this tracer point mesh. And we're going to add one more component here, which is a sphere collision. I'll just call this collision, collision area. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make the tracer points about 0.1 each, because we want these to be kind of small compared to the actual um, grenade that we're throwing out. Actually, 0 0.05 probably. And I'm going to make this 7.5. And you guys will see why in a minute. So we'll compile. We're going to go into the event graph and we can delete all of this. And all we want to do is for our collision area, we're going to click on this. And we're going to scroll down, make sure we have generate overlap events on. And we're going to create an overlap event right here. It's the second one down. And we will say um, on other actor, we're going to cast to new grenade. And once we have our new grenade, we're then going to destroy actor. Now for this, we will, we're going to minimize here, we're going to have to do a little bit of some background work here in the project settings. So we'll go to settings, project settings. And what we're going to do is actually create a custom collision channel. So we'll have a new object channel here. And we'll call this tracer point. And we'll say the default response is ignore we'll accept and then we'll come down here to presets and we'll add a new and this will be for a tracer point and we'll say collision is enabled for query only we don't really need to do anything with physics and the object type we're gonna make this a tracer point and what we want to do is ignore everything except physics bodies because that's what our grenade is so we're going to tell it to overlap that and we'll hit accept and we can close this out and now we can go back into our tracer point and for the collision area we'll select tracer point here for a collision preset and you see it'll automatically default to a tracer point object and physics it'll overlap physics bodies and that's all we need to do here and then we can give this a nice shiny color there we go compile and save and now we're gonna go into our beginner character and we'll pick up where we left off in the second tutorial right here off of the um, F key and the only thing we're gonna do here is off of released we're gonna go to the sequence we're gonna add an extra pin here and we're gonna take this pin and we're going to drag it over here somewhere and say spawn actor from class. And what we're going to look for is our tracer points. And from here, this out path. So this was our predicted projectile path. We're going to get this array here. And we'll say for each loop. So this is going to just give you the entire um, 
list of points that this projectile is going to take in an arc and it puts it into this array. So what we're going to do is take that array out and we're going to spawn an actor at each one of those points. So for this we're going to say we're going to come off of here and say make transform and the location we're going to plug in is right here. So this is going to fire right after we release. So once we set our projected path, it's going to fire off this sequence and it's going to pull this array out and spawn an actor at each one of those points. And then we'll see from this tracer point, because we set this up to destroy once it overlaps the grenade, you'll see that as the grenade goes through the path, it'll remove those um, arc points. So let's test this out. We'll hit play. You see here, we'll hold F. That worked horribly. Don't even know what happened there. Oh, I know what it. I know what I forgot. So, this beginner character, the grenade. What we want to do, see how it's ignoring these tracer points? What we want to do is overlap the tracers. Because right now it was hitting them and bouncing off. And that should fix that problem. So we'll test this again. And hopefully I don't look like an idiot. And there we go. Small things, guys. Small things. Alright. I hope you guys thought that was helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and look out for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.